Hey, what's up, everybody? It's African Hair God, of course, and it's Mohawk time. Oh, let's get into this. So, you guys know I did a couple of Mohawk videos a while back, like a few months ago. Uh, didn't really have much footage of me doing the Mohawk uh, for a number of reasons, um, but I'm doing the Mohawk again today for the Atlanta World Natural Hair Show tomorrow. And it's a great time, great opportunity to just shoot the tutorial again. So that's what I'm going to do. So I know y'all looking at my hair like, oh boy, child, what is going on with your hair? <sighs> I know, it's, it's a mess. I'm, I'm, I'm going to fix it. Trust me, it's going to look fabulous at the end of this video. Alright, so, alright. I'm going to go off camera now, moisturize and detangle my hair, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to get started. Okay, right. so the first step is to part off the mohawk, of course. So I'm going to part off my mohawk, and then I'm going to come back and show you what I do So this is my mohawk that I parted off. Um, don't worry, I'm gonna let you see uh, how the part looks. I'm gonna tie it up so you can see how I okay, parted so it. Okay, so here is uh, the mohawk section. You can see how I parted it off. Hopefully, I'm in view of the camera. Okay, there's the back. All right. And back to the front. All right, so this, it took me a while to part out this mohawk. I'm gonna explain why in a second. But I just wanna point out a couple of things. Okay, first you can see that I parted my, the front of my mohawk from this point in the center of the front. I parted it off in the center, curving out and then going back to the back and then narrowing out and to another point in the center at the back. Okay, so why did I part my hair like that? Um, watching, uh, I watched Shira from Sugar Free TV, I think is the name. Um, and when she did her mohawk tutorial, she made a very good point. She said mohawks, the, sh the general shape of the mohawk is basically a point, it widens out, and then it goes back into another point. So here in the front and the back, it should part from a single point. That makes sense. When I part my hair like this, it gives the mohawk a, a very, uh, a nicer, cleaner look to it. Whereas if you just part it from the sides, boom, and then went straight back. It, it just, it creates a, a more natural, more authentic look to it when you part it from the point. And then um, the back is narrower than the front uh, because I'm going to be uh, flat twist in my hair towards the back. All of my flat twists are going to go towards the back and so it's going to fill out the ends of the flat twist is going to go to the back and fill out the mohawk back there. So I don't want that section to be too thick otherwise it might be too heavy in the back and not you know thick enough in the front. So I hope that I explained that right. Um, I hope that makes sense. Now this took me a while to part off. I'm going to explain why that is. Okay. Remember in the beginning of the video, I said I was going to moisturize and detangle my hair? That was the worst thing I ever possibly could have done before I did this. Okay. I'm so upset. Like, I'm so mad. Because I have experienced so much breakage. I should have just left my hair alone. I should have just left it alone. My hair was stretched. It was a little dry. I mean, I could have put some leave-in conditioner and, you know, that would have been that. But no, I had to go through and detangle my hair. Now, see, this, this, this is why I honestly feel that 4C hair is very, is one of the more difficult textures to handle. Because, okay, I'll be watching some people on here and they be detangling their hair. And, they, you know, they spritz it with water, maybe put in a little leave-in conditioner, go through with their comb, and then their dimming or whatever, their tangle teaser. And then, bam, their hair is detangled. They can run their hands through, and it just glides through. My hair, okay, after I get the comb through, and it, my hair is detangled, it, like, it has a tendency to want to just curl back up and tangle back up. See, the thing with 4C hair that's different from other textures is that it has no curl pattern to it. It's like every single strand almost has a mind of its own. So it's, it's not uniform in any way. It's just like, 
it's just uh, it's just it's completely random it's just like it, it might zigzag and then do a little twist and a curl to it and then zigzag again like every strand has a mind of its own and as a result it just wants to tangle onto itself when it curls up it doesn't have a pattern to kind of clump the hair into when it curls up so it just it gets entangled again I don't know why, I just, I really just should not have done that. But anyways, to continue on with this tutorial. Alright, so, um, I have my hair here, I have my sections off, so I'm just going to go through basically flat twist, starting from the front, on one side, just flat twist, get it to the back, uh, tie it off, and then move on to the back. Next As you can see, I've done both sides, all the flat twists, here's what they look like. I wasn't really original with uh, the design, the pattern, because, uh, like I said, I'm tired. I just had two final exams today, and I'm exhausted. It's like 11, almost 11.30 tonight, right now. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> Glad I'm done with that. So, this is the last time I do my hair on wet, detangled hair, because this is just, it was too much. So, now I'm just going to go through and take out these braids and then put the, the middle section into two strand twists. 